Hi, my name is Scott and I work for Aban Technology. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to give you a brief description on some of the cables that we can supply. Here we have some power splitters. These are used to split power from one power supply to a number of different cameras. These are available in a two, four and eight way. Now it's not necessary to have all of these tails connected. For example, if you have a six camera kit, you can connect the six cameras, leaving two tails for any future cables and cameras that can be, need to be added. Next, we have the pre-made cables. As you can see, this is a three core cable consisting of two yellow video signal inputs, two red power out signals and two white audio signals. Now this is a five meter length and they're also available in 10, 20 and 30 meter lengths. Now we can also provide a 50 meter length. As you can see this is only a two core cable, one being for the video signal, the second being for the power one. The 50 meter cable does not support an audio, uh, audio signal. If you require non pre made cables, if you like to make them up yourself, we can provide a 100 meter reel of what is known as shotgun cable. Now this consists of the RG59 which supplies a video signal and a power. If you decided to power and use the sender signal separately we can supply a 100 meter reel of RG59. This sends the video signal from the camera to the DVR and this is signal only. <coughs> Another cable which can be used to transfer the video signal is a LAN cable. Now this is an 8 core cable consisting of four twisted pairs. We have these in 100 meter reels and we can also supply 305 meter boxes both indoor and outdoor. Next, you may wish to pass the video signal from the DVR to a TV or a monitor. There's two cables that you can use for this. First, we have a BNC to RCA cable. The BNC end is connected to the DVR and the RCA is then connected to the TV. Now this is a two meter lead and they're also available in five and 10 meters. Now if you want to connect to a PC monitor, you can use a VGA lead. Again, these are available in a number of different lengths, for example, 5, 10s, 20s, and even 30 meters. Now, if you wish to view your DVR on a network, then you have to connect it to a router. For this, we can provide you with a LAN cable or an Ethernet lead. We have a, these in an array of different sizes, for example, a 3 meter, 5 meter, 10 meter, 20 meter, and 30 meters. We can also provide you with 6 and 8 core alarm cable if required. Thank you for watching today's video tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything you've seen today, please contact us on the following.